Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night. This is Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. It's a puzzle game that uh, I wasn't really all that interested in. And then I got interested when it started getting decent reviews and, you know, people were saying it was pretty good. So I played it a, a little bit earlier and this is going to be maybe not a full two hours, but it'll be a look at the game. Full disclosure, I did not actually get this game for free. <laughs> No, they didn't send this to me. I bought it. I think it was $20, but I'm sick today and I don't remember. <laughs> Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon Price eShop. 20 bucks. So, I don't know, you know, maybe it's worth it. I have a lot that I need to do. Um, I don't know if I've hit a skill ceiling for me just yet, but I'm gonna do my best to explain the game and then just play. But essentially, you... Uh, it's a roguelite. There's also an infinite mode. And um, apparently, it didn't start out as a Shovel Knight game. But I've unlocked Shield Knight so far, and you can see, like, they have different gameplay things. There's a little uh, differences per character. But the best way I could describe this game is... It's like Wario's Woods, and a little bit of Crypt of the Necrodancer, all thrown into the Shovel Knight mix. So when you attack, you, um you know, destroy things next to each other. So I'll give you an example. Uh, these ants, or whatever they are. You see that? Comboed all of them. And you have a little bit of time to make decisions. I was playing this game earlier to the beat of the music, but then when you don't play fast enough, you lose your combo. So you take damage, and some enemies strike you for two damage, like the skeleton, but you get potion. So that's how it works. You gotta do combos, right? With enemies next to each other. Slimes cause poison. You get keys, and you can see at the top, you need to do a certain amount of things, kill a certain amount of enemies, rather, and then that'll unlock the door to the next level. You get temporary upgrades when you open treasure chests, and sometimes Basically, all the upgrades are, like, happening in your playthrough. The item I have right now on the left is a shield, which prevents one damage. So basically, these ants will do no damage to me. That's a bomb. We'll see what that does. There you go. So again, waiting for key keys here. Open treasure chest. That's the third treasure chest. That was like a, a clearing block. All right. So you want to try to combo, and you want to play kind of quickly, too, and you can get, like, really good scores. And, um, the gems can be used to buy stuff later on. Well, you'll see. I and mean, when you die, you can buy stuff that you can find, like, later. Like, upgrades. But you can also buy upgrades while you're playing. gonna leave now before bad things happen. Oh, let me get my, uh, Steam, Stream Deck, Stream Deck, not Steam Deck, that, that's not, that's not even out yet, okay. I just wanna, um, get it so I can mute. So, I am not feeling great. I am very crusty. I mentioned it during my Outer Wilds, and, uh, that said, I'm really trying to finish up this album. And truthfully, I was a little bored. And I said, you know what? I want to record for like an hour. Because this game is kind of addictive. And it's kind of fun. So, 
Thank you for your patience. Uh, it fucking sucks. I feel like shit. It's just a bad cold. I'll be alright. So, new enemies have arrived. This key and this treasure chest, this is basically a shop. So I'm gonna get the meal ticket for 6,000, which is 2 HP. The shop seems to always appear at the beginning of level 2 so far. These new enemies put up a shield, and then you have to attack them from a different direction. They only do one damage. This thing right here turns into a more valuable crystal. So now it's its most valuable. You want to destroy it, you get a bunch of gems to buy more crap. Watch this. Oh, I love that one. Destroy matching foes. Ice one's pretty good, too. There's, these are like challenge rooms. These- I've never faced these dudes before. They move. Damn. Alright, well, challenge complete, but... Those are new enemies. Can I buy this? Your next chain explodes, recharges when opening chests. That's pretty good. I'll take it. Oof, almost died there. Jesus Christ. I've died in this game a lot, so far, as one would imagine. Oof, I just got hit with that. Oh, fuck, right, it was doing damage back to me. I'm not good at- I'm not good at this game yet. Maybe I'll never be. I do like puzzles. I like- well, yeah, I like puzzle games. I used to like Wario's Woods a lot, Tetris Attack. Like, action puzzle games are interesting to me. And this definitely scratched an itch that I didn't know I had. This item stops time for a while. So there's, you know, passive upgrades, and then there's these temporary items. But, um... Obviously, I haven't done well enough to... unlock more than one character, because each character has their own passives. Like, Shield Knight has one less health, but also can create a barrier. It's just about watching your health and getting potions and getting good combos, maybe even setting up combos if you can. That- that I find difficult. This item does two damage, so I can kill skeletons in basically one hit. Wasn't even paying a fucking health. Ah, oh, god damn it! I've unlocked a bunch of stuff already that were like upgrades for later. So usually when you unlock a new thing, it says there are new upgrades available back at camp. So I've already done that. I think I need to beat more levels to get more upgrades. Those skeletons hit for a lot. 
Well, they hit for two, which is a lot early on. And uh, it's, it's quite annoying. The smoke bomb allows you to um, basically nullify any damage in a certain amount of space. So you can just attack while the smoke bomb lasts. It's really, it's handy. Especially if you need to go fast to keep your combo going. Son of a bitch. If you don't pay attention to your health for a second, that could happen. I mean, it's a good handheld game. I played it in handheld mode, and it's good to pick up, play for 20 minutes, get frustrated, put down. I'm not sure how much longevity this game would have, but the loop is fun enough on its own, the primary, like, gameplay loop. And, like, the different items that you get like that, you can, like, blast the line with electricity. But you have to choose which item you want, too, because, like, alright, I'm gonna keep this one now. You do get a bonus if you clear out everything before you go on to the next stage. So that's what I've been trying to do. Hasn't worked out so great for me. Oh, that's about as much as I can do without dying, so... Next! I'm, uh, drinking... I don't know if I mentioned this during Outer Wilds, but I'm drinking something called Lemon Party. Uh, Lemon, Lemon Perfect. Also, not brought to you by Lemon Perfect or any other lemon product or anything. But, I'm trying it out. I got a bunch of them. They're fine. It's just more of that, not- we're not water because you're sick of water. So here's some flavors, but it's not sugary. It's that. That's fine. So I, ha I chose the upgrade to get extra health, because I could use that always. You could s see I still kind of sometimes play to the beat of the music, which is, uh... There's nothing wrong with it. Well, there's a little something wrong with it. As in, you're not gonna, like, continue your combos, because that's a little slow. Whoa! Okay! That motherfucker with the shield blocked me in. Fuck. Got blocked in. Spear is good, and again, Crypt with the Necro Dancer. This one goes right through opponents. So you can do some really good stuff with this. But you can see they're, they're limited time use, and you can see how many uses you have, so picking up a new item is usually a good idea.
close, but if I attack that skeleton, I will die. So, I can't clear out the whole thing, but I think I did all right. Plus one damage at max gem meter. Plus one damage after fatal blows to chains. Attacks poison foes. I'm gonna save my money for the attacks poison foes. That was fantastic. Poison. I wish um, there was a health upgrade in there, but this'll do. It's good for when you need to do one damage and just get the fuck out of there. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, some of those challenge rooms can be a little bit of a nightmare, and there's enemies that I've only fought a couple times, and I don't know how to defeat them efficiently, but... I also sucked at Necrodancer. I have a hard time remembering, and just my muscle memory for these types of games can kind of blow. Ugh, the bomb. The bomb got me. Wonderful sneeze. Just a nice, painful sneeze. What got me? Oh, poison. Fucking poison from a blorb. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> There is a boss. I was unable to defeat the boss, but there is one. Fucker. Oh, man. Well, 
Come on, just drop an ant down there. Just drop an ant. Throw an ant down there. It'll be fun. Why, why aren't they putting an ant down there? There we go. There we go. Yeah! Oops. I forgot I didn't have full health because the, they all take health. Oh, they all take health away from you. Blocks one damage, okay. Here we go. Well, last scenario around you is also good, but blocks one damage seems necessary for me. And my yachtin phase. My yachtin's my yachtened state. Bonus. Okay. Okay. Uh, first strikes do plus one damage. That's a good one, but HP. For sure. Frogs electrify. They can be quite annoying. I can buy the first first strike. Did it again. Nice. Okay, stage three. I've made it past stage three, like, three times. And then died at the boss. There's also, I think, a hidden character here. That 
bomb hurt. Yep, I need three keys. So if I save my keys and get three of them, I can, um... I can unlock a new character, I think. Maybe. Uh, or maybe it's an item. I'm not sure what it is. Guess we'll find out. Uh, find gems in blocks or plus one damage after fatal blows to chains. Sure. Oh, if you do that to a treasure chest, it just destroys the treasure chest. Oops. Um, find rarer items or plus one damage every third hit to the same foe. Let's get that one. Three times in a row I've level cleared. That's crazy. King Knight. I knew I recognized the clumsy sound of a commoner's walk bow before your king. I don't think I've fought this one before. No, I haven't. It was a different one. It was, I think it was Spectre Knight. Do it? I think I did it! Wow. Great. Well, this is as far as I've come, and I've unlocked King Knight to play as. No idea how these enemies function. At low HP, warps away when struck. Prime's explosion when slain. That means the, the pink lads don't really do anything special. They're like, just the, kind of there. Oh, kind of, kind of feel bad for them, actually. These poor bastards. I, I am doing relatively well. I don't want to jinx it, but... Oh, almost did. Almost died, rather. How am I getting stage clears? Every single time. That feels improbable. Now we'll just leave. Fuck that. I got a bunch of gems. I'm good with that. Um, I can get... Um... I can get that. The gem meter is like the bonus. And some items actually use the gem meter. To, uh... You know, do more damage and stuff. It's 
knocked back to one back one space when hit. Uh, this, oh, no. Freeze time on room, enter, or one board is nearly full. Hmm. Oh, that was so good. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be clearing this room. Just gonna leave there. Usually don't want to back yourself into a corner, I say backing myself into a corner. Another clear. What the hell? Resists electric damage, plus one damage every ten steps. Yeah, sure. Obviously, uh, I've never made it this far before. So this is getting a little weird. I'm very okay with this, but it's a little weird. How am I doing so well? enemies kind of suck it's stronger when grouped together What are you- what is this? Opening that door will cost you one max HP. Yeah, sure. The foolish knight does my bidding, tapping- trapping everyone in the pocket dungeon unaware of my plan. None of them will ever find the shrines. Unless, who do we have here? It would seem that someone has found their way in after all. Are you lost? Do you seek this broken trinket? It shines still, but... Only with the faint echo of its original power. It has no use to anyone, really. If you wish to amuse yourself with such trifles, I won't stand in your way. Key fragment found. Plus item damage and durability. Plus one damage every fifth hit. Um, yes, item damage and durability sounds great.
It's a good item. And it's been upgraded. Uh, no, that's bad. I think it's time for me to just leave this area. Yeah. Oh, man, I, oh, I entered here with almost no health. Fuck. I had no idea we were gonna do a boss fight. Shit. Fuck! Oh, I went to go get the potion, and I fucking died to the lava. God damn it. No new items. Did I already buy every fucking item? I might have. Give me a thousand gold, find your fashion. Okay, you can have it. Pride more keep, lich yard, magic landfill, iron whale. So there's, you know, a cannon. It can help you do shortcuts. Of course, when you do that, you don't end up accumulating items on the way. So you're less powerful if you just teleport there and don't start from the beginning. wanted to see, um, King Knight does. Press B to bash, hits harder based on distance, but you'll take one more damage. I'll take a look. Honestly, I'm not gonna be getting that far again. Not from the beginning, not tonight. I feel like dog shit. Oh, you can pretty much just one-shot. But depending on the enemy, you will also one-shot yourself, potentially. I mean, I, the bash is cool. My muscle memory is not quite there for it yet. Like, it's too weird. Oh, right. Those scutals are like early annoyances. Wait, so, oh, it costs gems, so you can't just continue... You can't continue warping... ...unless you have gems. Oh, you actually do get some extra health. That's nice, they start you with some health. Well, it's kind of useful for that situation. Shovel Knight also has, um, one of his innate skills is more potions appear.
Whoa. Oh, that got a little scummy. any of those items. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, it's gonna cost, uh, gonna cost you to restart from here each time, but at least, at least you have the option. I didn't have this option before, I think I just unlocked the cannon. This is a lovely room of death. damage. Well, I'm here again. With way less items. But I do have the charge, which is pretty good. Especially for a boss fight. Sure is lava -y. Oh! Alright! Nice. Well, actually, I think King Knight was the perfect fit for that fight. harder when you're at low HP. Oh, come on. be to burrow and swap positions. I mean, I have enough gems that I could just keep buying this stuff. And that's only from maybe like two hours of playing, two and a half hours.
Oh, that's actually pretty useful. Yeah. It's real easy to just die. It's real easy to die. This character seems like it would be best for setting up combos. And dying. He died doing what he loves best. Dying. I was watching, um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, just because it was on TV. And it's amazing how much of that movie I just know. It's almost like that movie's in my blood. It was one of maybe the first movies I ever really watched a lot, because it was on cable all the time. And also, my cousin liked it, my parents liked it, like, everyone liked that movie. I thought that's just what life was. Like in the 80s? Like, for me, that movie came at 86. Let's just say I remember watching it in the 80s. <laughs> and, like, th there's a huge part of my life that that movie was just always on for. Crazy. I thought when they did Twist and Shout, I thought that that was actually Matthew Broderick, or sorry, Ferris Bueller singing that. It wasn't until years later that I realized that that was a Beatles song. Same for uh, Don Shane by Wayne Newton. I was like, how did he get his voice like that? Still a good movie. Like, still really good. And there's also um, a good theory about that movie. Where Ferris actually sets up that whole day for his buddy Cameron. So Cameron can, like, stand up for himself and learn how to, like, have a good time and also not be stepped on and have an adventure, because he's gonna go off to college and have a shitty life. And so Ferris sets up all this stuff, all these events, for Cameron. I like that. Also, great performances, too. All right, so you can see I'm losing on level one here, so I'm, I'm just about done. But it's a pretty cool game. Fatal Blows do extra damage to chains, that's what that is. For Shovel Knight. So Shovel Knight is pretty much the, you know, all-arounder. A lot of characters, by the way. A lot of characters. All the ones you'd expect. Oh, look at that. This is... I haven't even seen this. Am I supposed to be in here? Of course I am. I could be asking the same thing of you. Listen, buddy, I'm just having a look-see. Puzzle Knight's got some fancy things. How about we both keep this nice and quiet? By the way, I bet you're glad I snuck that puzzle guidebook into your pocket. Pretty useful, eh? Have you seen any thieves here? I sure don't. No. Not a thief in sight, just kind of sewers. Man, 
Uh, here's a question. How does one change into a different costume? Still a few items I haven't seen. Peace and quiet. Let me guess, you're here for a reflex test. Yeah, that'll be 25 gems. Excuse me? I conjure enemies, you stay alive. If you aren't speedy, you'll blow up, okay? Fourteen points, that's not very good. Next time, maybe try another method? Huh. Shovel Knight's turning into quite a little franchise, isn't it? Oh, that's how you just switch costumes. Cool. Well, anyway, that's uh, Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. I would play more, and I probably will on my own tomorrow, but truthfully, I'm just feeling pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. Pretty bodacious right about now. So, I need some time to uh, relax and feel better. So I will do that. I just wanted to show you the game because I had a lot of fun playing it. It's very addictive. It's pretty cool. It's a good fusion of a couple different styles. And I like Shovel Knight, so is it worth the 20 bucks? I don't know. Maybe. It's for you to decide. You've seen it. And I have to say, I think maybe this is a $10 sale game. I think it's 20 at least. That's what it said when I googled it. I'm pretty sure I paid the 20 for it, but... If you can get this for 10 on sale, it feels like a good purchase. But, uh, I, I don't know, maybe you'll like it at full price. Maybe you'll like it, period. But I have a lot more... ...skills to get and more characters to unlock. Okay, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. I wish the orange would continue animating because that would be perfect. You know, like for right there. Ah, oh well. Ah, we, you can't make the orange move. <laughs>